Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist, Killer Shell Exam Simulation. I'm recording the session because I believe it will benefit the individuals preparing for the CK certification or on their Kubernetes security learning journey. So please join me as I address these questions individually and I'll walk you through the process by explaining each solution in detail. So question number one, task weight one percentage. You have access to multiple clusters from your main terminal through kubectl context. Write all context name into the given file, one per line. So this is the first section of this question. So on the terminal, I'm issuing the kubectl config command. And uh, to view the context or to get the context, we have to supply the uh, get context um, subcommand. So we, we see like there are five uh, different uh, clusters available here. So the task is basically to write uh, this context name into this given file. So you can manually copy this, but um, it's better to use the hyphen O switch and the name. So it will it is used to filter through um, the name uh, column alone. So now we have the required output and uh, now we have to redirect them to the given file here. Just to verify, uh, the file, the content is written to this file, it's there. So we have now solved uh, the first part of the question. And the next one says, from the cube config, extract the certificate of the user restricted at infra dash prod and write it decoded to this file. So now let's, um, view the kube config file. So this kube config, uh, we already have noticed that you know, it is uh, producing five different clusters. We have context associated with them and obviously the users. So for the interest of this question, so we have to extract the certificate of this user restricted at infra prod, which is basically this one here restricted at infra dash prod. And so when you use the cube config view command, um, you will get the data omitted or you know that the sensitive information will be redacted redacted from uh, the output so you have to use the hyphen hyphen raw commandlet to view the certificate details and all the sensitive information so now we can clearly see all the certificate information so since we are already looking for uh, only this user and then I'm going to pass after five. So which means I'm uh, grabbing the five lines that um, after it finds the match for this one, the given output. So yeah, we have received this. So we have the client certificate data and client key data. So we have to get the client certificate data. I'm copying this one. Now we have to and as you can clearly see this is the base 64 encoded format we have to decode this and then write the clear text information so what i'm going to do is just echo this pipe this to base 64 hyphen d to decode that and we got the certificate and uh, i have to redirect this content to this file and just to validate yes we do have this um, certificate information returned to this one so 
That's all for this question. Thank you.